We are going straight into the virtual eye and straight down to the race course to see how these teams are tackling the St. Helena High. One thing that's happened over the last 10 or 12 hours, the fleet have started to fan out. All of them having slightly different approaches here to the light winds that are coming up. But look what happens around about the 700 position reports. Axinabel, Mafre jibing over, Dongfong as well, putting in a dummy jibe. These positions now, as we pause it, this was the 0700 position reports. These positions, these headings, was the last time that any of the competitors knew what each other were doing. What happens just after 700 when they all go effectively dark for the next six hours? Well, every boat jibes over and starts sailing to the west, each of them not knowing that their competitors are doing exactly the same thing. Effectively, they've all gone into a mini stealth mode until 1300, until right now. None more so than Dong Fong. Take a look at how Dong Fong are playing their tactics here. At this point, just here, that is the last time that their position was broadcast. Before then, they decided to jibe over but maybe the angle wasn't right. Maybe they thought we're giving the game away too early, so they jibe back. That was the last time that anybody saw them. After the 700 position report, Dongfong race team jibe over and continue sailing southwest. This is the level of tactics that we're seeing out on the race course right now. All the teams using the position reports to real tactical advantage. Well, it's no surprise that Dongfong race team are using everything that they possibly can do to get the better of their competitors. They're certainly proving themselves to be one of the top teams in this edition of the Volvo Ocean Race. But don't just take my word for it. Earlier on, just before we came on air, we spoke to Sebastian Joss and Thomas Roxel, who were out there on the, well, pretty much the same ocean on board Gitana in the Transat Jack vibe. They, of course, know Charles Cordrelia, Pascal Badigari, and the rest of the team know what they're like. And I asked them whether it was any real surprise that Dongfong Race Team were proving themselves to be the boat to beat. Yes, we, we think that. The funny thing in the Dongfong Racing, Dongfong Racing, it's uh, many uh, single and sailor together. Do a crew, and uh, in the other team, it's uh, many. It's uh, just normal to have a crew member make a crew. So that's, that's a big difference between French uh, sailing and English sailing. It's, uh, every man, like uh, Marie, Pascal, Jeremy, or Charles, know to sail alone and to have a good background to how to manage a boat alone. So it's, it's that the difference between uh, English and French. It's uh, but uh, it's long years of uh, training to, to do that because sometimes we feel crazy to sail alone in some boats or big boats, so that we learn a lot of things. When you're leading the race, it's, it's yours to lose. There must be a lot of pressure on those sailors at the moment. What do you think the psychology, the thoughts going through the minds of the Dongfon race team crew are? There is a big pressure, but uh, it's always better uh, to have uh, some... Uh, some miles that will be, uh, be in front of the head of the others. So it's a... Uh... It's a positive pressure. Obviously, both of you guys, uh, you know, have been out there, you've done the race. What is the hardest part that we're going to see these crews going through? What, what is hard in the Volvo, it's a, it's a long, long race. So you can win one leg, but it's, it's good for the brain, but it's not enough. So. The end of the race is really hard because everyone is tired uh, and, uh, and and you can win the Volvo in the first race in the last two legs. So it's important to lead today, but it's important to, to be in the lead in the last in the last part of this race. Which team do you think Dongfong race team should be scared of at this point? Uh, I think Mapre is a very strong team. They, they train uh, very hard and uh, very good guys on board. And uh, we saw uh, we saw from the beginning that uh, Axel Nobel could be uh, could be very impressive, uh, even if they had some uh, some problems at the beginning. I'm just wondering if you guys can explain to the race fans around the world what is it about the Volvo Ocean Race that keeps bringing sailors back wanting to punish themselves through some of these horrible sailing conditions. <laughs> it's for that we don't come back. <laughs> no, that's, no, no, no. that's not true. <laughs> we would be very happy to come back. But yes, it's very hard, but uh, 
because the, the race is just amazing. It's, uh, the competition is uh, very high level and very, very close. So it's just, uh, it's yes, uh, the, probably the most exciting race you can find in the world. You guys have just come off the water from uh, the Transat Jacques Vab, Jatana. Congratulations. What was that like? Uh, it took uh, it take us seven days to come to France to Brazil. So it was very fast and very dry. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much. If you've got any words that we can pass on to Charles Cordrelia, Pascal, or any of the team, you know, if you've got any message, say it now. Uh, bonne chance à Dong Fong. Prenez soin de Marie et euh, amusez-vous bien. Euh, ouais. So that was our French connection there, as our producer likes to call it this morning. But there's been plenty more going on around the racetrack. And we put together this little video highlights reel to show you just how intense the competition is all the way around the fleet. So this morning I sent an email to Scallywag because they were right next to us, commenting on what a good job they did in the cloud this morning. And to say, right, let's get on it and go catch the rest of the fleet. Stevie Hales came back to me commenting that we're finally doing our two boat testing and that there's no such thing as a good cloud. And then Woody's just sent an email saying, wouldn't it be better if this battle was for first and second? I thought he was the whisperer, but clearly we've got the afterburners on now. They're going to try and stay with us and let's go catch the others. So everyone's in good form, feeling happy, and we have left them behind. <laughs> That's just about everything today. But of course, uh, don't forget that we've got the competition running to win the Musto jacket. Uh, send us your images of you guys playing the Volvo Ocean Race game. We're looking for the image that makes us laugh the most. So far, pretty good. One other thing to mention, of course, Conrad Coleman is not here today. You may have been noting that we are missing his warm presence and his analytical take on the race. He is in the Royal Ocean Racing Club in London at the moment, receiving an award for seamanship. From all of us here at the Volvo Ocean Race, uh, Digby Fox, myself, and every Everybody, Conrad, congratulations. We will see you back here tomorrow. And if you've been watching Conrad and you've been seeing him at the weekends, you'll know that tomorrow I'm sure he's going to have some interesting insights into the race coming up. And just before we sign out, we're going to leave you with a little bit of a conversation. We hooked up Mary Roo on board Dongfong Race Team and Seb and Tomar from the Transact Jacques Vab team on board Jitana. We put the three together and we're going to leave you with this. This is a little conversation that they gave us. Et on attend, on attend là, on descend, on, essaie, on va essayer de, de choper le vent pour, pour descendre rapidement vers Cape Town. Donc voilà, on est en attente. Tout le monde va bien. Charles est occupé. Il, il essaye de faire avancer au plus vite euh, le bateau. Et puis voilà, moi je me réveille tranquillement là. Je, je démarre mon car. <rire> Je viens de prendre le petit déjeuner et puis euh, voilà, on est, on est impatient d'avoir le vent pour, euh, pour descendre euh, rapidement. Et ben on en a encore pour 6-7 euh, euh, jours. Jeudi, arrivé, arrivé jeudi je crois. Ah ouais, et du coup ça va vous faire descendre très vite vendredi. Ou quoi euh, pas trop, pas trop. Hein, vous allez avoir trop, pas, Je sais pas, je sais pas trop. Pas on va avoir froid, je pense, ouais. Mais on a prévu, j'ai prévu la, la doudoune. La doudoune et, euh, et les gants. Donc je, je suis prête. Oh, je suis un peu inquiète quand même. Hein. Euh, du, du froid. Mais bon, on ouais, verra ouais, bien, ça sera un bon test. Euh, avant. 
<rire> avant la avant la leg numéro 3.